We're about to roll into the 0800 turn GD40. So let's have a look here and see what's going on. You'll note that there are almost no French units on the board. And you'll note that uh, these reinforcements that arrived at um, 600 have really pretty much just taken up a holding position here. And that's because the, the route of all the French units that were defending Stone was fairly complete and uh, decisive uh, and conclusive. There were a significant number of losses for the, the Germans. The Germans lost more units than I thought they would have, or more steps than I thought they would have. Uh, two tank units and probably probably upwards of nearly a dozen steps or 10 steps thereabouts. So relatively hefty price to pay given the overwhelming force they had and the uh, you know, more than 100% uh, morale benefit. So French actually did okay, but it was the, once the plans fail and once the, uh, once the guys you know, hunker down and know they're going to die, it, things end quickly. And as I've learned in TCS, <clears throat> just because someone's isolated and all by themselves and uh, looks relatively weak, it doesn't mean it's easy pickings to, to knock them off. So we, we kind of, we stood back and just used uh, infantry guns on the field and mortars and stuff to really soften them up before we, we tried to wipe out the rest of the units. Uh, at the very least trying to get them to SYR, save yourself retreat type of thing to, uh, to then allow us really good opportunity fire. I had units all around here looking for retreats to, uh, to take out, uh, to take out the retreating forces. Anyway, so it's 0700 or oh, nearly 0800 and we executed new, uh, prep, sorry, we executed new op sheets which were move op sheets, allowing us to get into position. We also have pre prepared defense op sheets baking in the background, accruing turns. We wrote those at 0400, knowing that, uh, or uh, ascertaining or assuming that we were going to be successful in our endeavors to capture this area. And so each of the battalions has a defensive posture planned and one of them was successful on the 0740 turn. I, I rolled for it to see if it was uh, ready to roll, ready to go. We could roll a 66 for these guys. So they're all in a dug in positions. I'm not putting mines down, even if even though I might be eligible for it, because I, I'm going to show you. Look, here's the here's the forces coming on to the board. Uh, there's some middling. Tanks, all those tanks actually, I think, have a, a combat factor of one, not two, on the left. And then you've got this infantry coming on board, which is better, but not great. And we get some RD and whatnot. But when you look at the defensive array for the Germans, this is daunting at best, right? I am, I am very concerned about the the approach here uh, and as I look at it tactically for the French you know what, what are we going to do for them I, I brought these guys on on this sort of right hand section of the entry point here so that they could at least keep a buffer and we could bring our forces on and potentially attempt to attack either up this ridge line or come around this way you know, I so I, I when I play solo, I, I roll up a couple of different plans for most circumstances, and the one that got rolled out was this guy here, building a defense across this road versus kind of hunkering in a lot closer on the on the ridge line. Uh, there was a the, there was a plan that uh, the battalion that was coming over here, second battalion, would be back here in reserve, but uh, that didn't happen. So now the French have got to choose. You know, a direct, relatively open assault or an assault through the woods and then up through here and then up through the backside. And we've got to assume that most of this is going to end up, uh, 3rd Battalion is going to end up being in 
uh, prepared defenses as well. So it's going to be a really tough nut to crack. Lots of good armor in stacks around here, ready to uh, jump in and cause mayhem and death on defense. And that's something I probably need to look at in terms of actual setup arrangements and, and, and rule, uh, not rules, but uh, orders for these guys. I may wish to modify these orders and put these guys into some sort of reserve mode that allows them a little bit more flexibility than, than just being in prepared defense. Because that really does indicate that they need to be static, right? They do have relatively good fields of fire, but uh, and these guys, these guys can shoot this way, but everything will be hinging on the, that that uh, second battalion uh, doing its job over on the right flank there. And we've got first battalion over on the left left flank, covering covering this approach. And the Pios, I pushed all the Pios back up to the rear there uh, just because it's smart to cover the, cover the flanks there. So that's kind of the situation, but it all looks really like a very nasty nut to crack. And I am, uh, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little hesitant to kind of get too much into this because I think it's just going to be a massive meat grinder. And while I enjoy the tactical finesse of TCS. Once it gets to this sort of stage where you're you're literally charging up a hill in the open, even with some smoke here, <coughs> something tells me things aren't going to go well for the French. But we'll get them on the board. We'll uh, we'll run a, a limited assault somewhere and see how how things work out. And we may we may call it at uh, you know the the ten the 10 or 11 uh, time frame as a uh, too tough to crack and the French uh, French retreat. I, I'm just not sure that they're, they're going to be able to, to bust through this unless they get lucky with some good artillery strikes and, and, and whatnot. You know, because really you've got to get through second th this flank of 2nd Battalion, the 7th uh, company here, and then get into these guys here, which are all, well, there are some step losses here. There's AT guns and uh, full platoons here. Now they are high count stacks, right? So there's gonna be some penalties uh, for the defenders when they're shot at, but they're in PD. So they're gonna be getting the benefits of protective cover plus the prepared defenses of the village. And I think they're gonna be in pretty good shape there. And they've got some good defense on the flanks so and nothing's coming at them too much from the open ground on this angle. It's really the attack's gonna come from here. We might, uh, you know, as the Germans, we, we might want to develop an attack plan for 1st Battalion over here and have them come sweep in on this flank. All sorts of fun things could happen. And that's where you want to say, hey, you know, let's keep going and see what happens. But I think no matter what, it's going to end up with the massacre of the French in a pretty ugly way. And and it just hurts my feelings to see all these little guys die so, so pointlessly. All right. Thought I'd share that update with you. <clears throat> the uh, the final assault here was was pretty was pretty interesting, but uh, not, nothing that you hadn't seen before with TCS. And once we get into this new assault here, we'll do some more detailed uh, updates and things like that. All right, we'll talk to you soon.